It's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing fantastic because I'm doing fantastic. Today we're going to learn who has the best fish and chips in central London with our friend Tom, the taxi driver. Uh, please, links below to this video if you don't want to hear me talking over it. I encourage you to actually go over there and watch it first. Also a link to his channel. A lot of interesting things, a lot of historical things that he does, a lot of adventures he goes on, and just the ins and outs of the taxi driving business that he is in. Um, I am blessed that Tom has allowed us to learn and see new and uh, interesting things from his channel. So thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. And it's really important. Everyone, you need to get over there. And if you're going to have uh, one opportunity for a like or a subscribe today, I recommend you going over there, not my channel, not your channel, or not our channel, uh, but go over there and like and subscribe on his channel. That is important to do so. Uh, come sit with me, Big Fake Cash. I just got back, uh, well, not just, but uh, just got back from Sacramento and was up there for the weekend. Uh, visiting my oldest son Damien and uh, we got to go see him perform he had a show uh, they were playing in downtown Sacramento which was a lot of fun um, just real proud of that kid he's just uh, he's a he's a good guy if you don't know who uh, Damien is or what he is he's my oldest son he's 27 um, actually he just turned he'll turn 28 on Halloween um, he uh, is in uh, a few rock bands, punk bands, however you want. They're kind of like Green Day. They're a, kind of that pop punk kind of a thing. Really cool. Um, he did the theme song to our channel. And uh, just real proud of him. He's making his way up there. And he's engaged. And yeah, the whole bit. So it was really good to see him. But today we're going to see who has the best fish and chips. Uh, <clears throat> I've been really holding back. I've never had them before. Uh, I'm not a big fish guy. I don't like fish. But when I get to London, I would like to try them. I know from watching these videos and learning from all of you that the best fish and chips generally are going to be in the seaside villages, you know. Uh, and that will have to wait because we're not going to be going to those places. <clears throat> on our first visit, unfortunately. But I still would like to try them. When I, and I've been holding back because they have fish and chips here. It's not out of the ordinary. Um, but I, I don't want to spoil it. Although I've been tempted to just do a video of trying the fish and chips here locally in my town, Ventura, California. But I've been holding the back I think I'm going to wait until I get to, to London to try authentic fish and chips. Now, my son, the younger one, Cooper, he, as you know, went to London this summer. And he tried fish and chips. I don't even think he had them in London. I think he had them in Ireland when he was in Dublin. But they came round. So a lot of you said, oh, that's not cod or, or the other uh, variation of it. It was something else. And, uh, he, he said it was okay. <laughs> so he technically didn't have fish and chips. He had that other, uh, variation of the dish. So I want to go a lot of our fish and chips. I know the fish comes like almost like chicken tenders is what it looks like. You know, they're thick strips um, and there's multiple of them, but from what I understand, it's they're flat and long, and uh, that's more of the authentic fish and chips. But anyway, we're going to watch Tom. He's going to take a tour of the best in central London. So come sit with me. I'm anxious to hear all of your thoughts and what you think, and what, if you've been to any of these, if they're the, if uh, his recommendations are good, that whole bit. I'm, I'm excited to see it and read it. So let's find out what Tom has to say. Let's do it. 
In today's video, I'm going to be visiting five of the most central fish and chip shops in London. And I'm going to be reviewing on six criteria. Maximum marks is going to be 60. Be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be going to a really touristy spot at the end of the video to see can a tourist trap stack up in the world of fish and chips? I'm excited for this. Yeah, a lot, in the past, a lot of you have said to stay away from those touristy spots. Hobson's, <laughs> Villiers Street. We're right next to Charing Cross. So in terms of central London fish and chips, it doesn't get any more central than this. They've had success for 25 years in the fish and chip industry, and they also were behind Oliver's of Belsize Park. Other locations include Soho, Porchester Road, or right here. Let's go, cod and chips. Okay. Beautiful. You want a bag for him? No, that's perfect like that, thank you. Enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs> Quite a new addition here in the Charing Cross area. Oldest fish and chip shop in the country, I believe. Ta da! The company that is the oldest. Is textbook, I would say. That lovely golden colour cod, good chips. Let's actually have a look at the cod, shall we? Oh, yeah. It's a little bit moist. That's okay. Sometimes that's nice. This one's got foil on the bottom. Yeah, normally you get like newspaper when you go to some places. Now let's... I would imagine the foil is to keep the heat. Um, keep the heat in the box. So it doesn't get soggy. Um, yeah. It's just... I'm going to try it. I'm not a big fish guy, like I said. The chips look awesome. The fries, as we call them. We'd actually call those, if I were ordering something like that here, I would say steak fries. Uh, the thick chips. And watching this video currently and others, like by Magic Geekdom and stuff, when they were ordering stuff that had chips, it doesn't matter, it seems, wherever the chips are being purchased. <laughs> They all look so good. They just all look the same. They look really, really good. It's, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying the the chips probably more so than the actual fish uh, for me. <laughs> Let's try some of this fish. I'm quite excited. Quite a soft texture. That batter is very sort of oily and soft. Ugh. There is some crispy bits to I it. I don't know if that's It's something. nice, but it's kind of it's... binded together, almost mushy-like. Skin is essential to good cod and chips. Do not get why people would ever not want the skin. It's the best bit. Oh, yeah, enough, I have to agree. Quite crispy. Normally, it's the underside that gets a bit soggy because it sits there. I don't know if that's the foil playing a part there. Who knows? Let's try a chip. Mm -hmm. They're good. There's not the crispiness to it. Mm. I think a key to a good chip is you want a bit of crispiness, but not yes. too much. They can't be too overly soft. They're good, but there's something not quite complete about them. Mm, especially that one. That was a little bit too potatoy. that one. They're not quite there. There's well, they are made out of potatoes. Chips. Good. But yeah, you want them crispy. But not a 10 out of 10, I'm afraid. So that's spot number one done. Now, we're going to head over to Soho for an OG London fish and chip shop. Let's go. Poppies. Hoppies. To take away, can I get uh, cod and chips, please? Yeah. Mm. Brilliant. They've got four sites in London. Portobello Road, Spitalfields, Camden, and this one in Soho on Old Compton Street. In fact, it's actually next door to the best sandwich in London. We've done that before. I feel honoured to be having this sandwich right here in London in a deli that's been here since 1961. Poppies was established in 1952. We've just ordered regular cod and chips. £13.60. It's a good price. Let's see what the quality's like. I mean, look at presentation of that. This cute little oh, get box. Get out of the camera, lady. It's similar to the old school newspapers that you get it in. Oh, they I like do that. Do their chips nice touch. In newspapers, so for that OG fish and chip shop establishment. I mean, I've just read some of the stuff on it. They've got Jack the Ripper stuff on here, bits about the Blitz, the Ghost of Hanbury oh, Street. I love which that. You'll know that Hanbury Street is there, where their Spitalfield site is. And that batter looks so good. It's soft in places, but you're getting crunched Street. as well by the looks of it. I think I have to get straight in and give that a go. Mm. Cod's a little bit moist. Um, I like it when the cod's a bit more sort of flakier, a little bit drier, but the fish goes really well with that batter. It's kind of a real harmony between the two. This, my American friends, it's not a fry. It's a chip. Yeah, good bit of crunch to it. Solid chip. That's the thing I love about fish and chips. It's just about sitting down, nice summer's day like this. Seeing Pretty the good score. Up and down. And Soho is probably 
one of the best places in London to do to that. Well, yeah, you should. That has to factor into the atmosphere, right? The the people watching while you're eating. So Soho would probably be definitely be a good spot. I love the box that it comes in um, with the newspaper look has stories i don't know if they're real or they're just made up um you know if they were taken from actual newspapers and printed onto the box that's awesome so uh, apparently it's won some sort of a award so let me know if you've eaten there for sure or at one of the other poppies that's around town I just Rock and Soul Place, Covent I don't know. Garden, here on Endell Street. We're just a four minute walk from Covent Garden Tube Station or a 15 minute walk from Rock Trafalgar and Soul Square. Place. Rock and Soul Place was established in 1871. Wow. Which was the oldest chippy on our list. With a recipe that hasn't changed for 152 years. Let's see how it stacks up. So the other creative thing with fish and chips is figuring out where you're gonna sit. They have got seats. That's a thick here, piece like right there. Eating in, so I'm going to creatively find somewhere to sit. That's the great thing about the fish and chips experience: <laughs> finding a wall or a bench or something. Look at that! Complimentary tartar sauce. Really big, thick chips. Not too sure how I feel about these. It's <laughs> a chunky bit of cod. Look at that! It's quite flaky cod. Not as moist as um, as it was just at Poppy's a moment ago. Good taste. How about some batter? Some batter. Batter up. Batter's very good as well. There's not like really any sort of taste to the batter though, is all I will say. Importantly, let's try some of that skin. There is a good there is a good wealth of skin here. Skin in the game, son. Hmm. Don't really know how I sit with these chunky chips. It's not the fish and chip shop experience for me. I'd want that to be sliced in half more. But we have our personal preferences. Not for me. Yeah, There's too big. There's a potato going on there. It yeah. needs to be like a, a skinnier chip. The cod was really good. The batter could have been a bit more flavorful. The chips, they're just too chunky in my mind. They're like potato wedges, and that just changes the flavor profile of the chip entirely. Presentation, Ste basic steak box, fries. Complimentary tartar. Nowhere to sit, you know. I guess they have got seating for like a, you know, if you're like restaurant, or even if I was to sit there, I could do takeaway there. I want organic benching from Camden Council or something so I can sit and enjoy people walking past, not being part of the restaurant itself. Hmm. Nice. Fish and chips, I think. Mm. If I was on death row, would be my very last meal. Just many happy memories, you know, fish and chips with me nan and granddad or down at the seaside, going out along down the motorbike, just sitting in the sun, people watching. That's how to do fish and chips. So, come to Fishco Tech. We love a punny fish and chip love name. Love the name. On Waterloo Road. Place has been here for 70 odd years. Famous patrons include Tony Blair, Lee Evans, Tom Hardy. Lee Best Evans. of all, wait for it, John Prescott. Now that is an accolade for fish and chips. Let's go. see what we're dealing with. Mmm, yeah. There's some real nice colour to the, those chips. That's more the sort of shape and size I want from a cod, from a fish and chips. Let's have a little look. That batter's very nice. Look at that. It's a much more right, that looks flakier pretty kind of cod. Good. I think the batter is, is very good as well. You've got the crispy bits of batter on the end, but you've got these sort of softer bits in the middle. Now let's try a chip. Let's open up one of these chips. There's more of a lightness to that chip. There's more of a fluffiness to it. Mmm. They are good chips. They're very Moorish. This is a very good experience. I don't know if I'm slightly tainted by the fact that John Prescott... Who's John this. Prescott? How could I not enjoy this if John Prescott... Should I know who he is? ...comes here? Now, that is a gem. That's the only one that's new to me. Don't know why I haven't tried sooner. Fishco Tech. I love the name. Fishco Tech. What's this place called? Fish Place. Get it? Fish Place. This is the wild card for me because we're in spitting distance of the British Museum. Cod and chips, £14.95. They're also specialists in Korean fried chicken. What? 
This could go horribly wrong. This could be the most genius idea ever. We're in a very touristy trapped area. I was going to say. The museum is the most popular attraction in London. Uh, I want to go is there so trapped, bad. Or is it real genuine fish and chips? We're about to find out. So I couldn't find out as much information about this one. It's clearly the newer on the list. Didn't tell me when it was established. Yeah, let's give it a go. The, the packaging. Haddock. It's Haddock. There it is right there. Uh, that was the other one. I was racking my brain going, what was the other fish <laughs> that can be used? And a lot of you have pitched in and said, oh, one is better than the other. And um, I think I, I want to stick with the, the, you know, even though I think you all said to try the haddock because I'm not a fish guy. I don't like the fishy taste. Um, that haddock is more uh, crunchy and correct me if I'm wrong, um, than the cod. But I almost want to go with the cod because that is the true fish and chip. At least that's what if I remember correctly. Um, but either one. Maybe I'll try them both. Um, but yeah, the french fries, sorry, chips, uh, need to be crunchy for me. If they're just soggy, I'll still eat them, but... You gotta get them out of the box. You gotta have that box open right away. The longer they sit in a closed box, they're gonna get soggy for sure. It's good, just generic sort of box, fish and chips. Bit of paper in there as well. The old See those, those look paper. good. Let's go with the fish first. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the fish, it, I thought it was a bad sausage. I nearly said to the guy. I, I know, it's so cut, thin. Right? It already marks off, I think, for the fact that it doesn't look truly fish-like. But what's it taste like? It's a lot more sort of firmer cod, a lot more tougher, chewy. I kind of like that, rather than sort of being too moist and sort of slippery. Let's try some of the batter. The batter is a bit more crispier. It's definitely more of like a bad sausage or something. <laughs> have we got any skin in here? I think we have got some skin. Also, generously with this, was a good amount of tartar sauce as well. So, plus points on that. Let's try a chip. I can't discern the chips. It's not as, not as nice as some of the chips we've had, but... Mm. I mean, I'm still going. <laughs> Closing thoughts. I feel like this kind of blew my expectations of what it would be, because of obviously the area of London that we find ourselves in. It can be really easy to think, right, I'm in a really touristy area, it's gonna be a tourist trap. This is great, fish and chips. Stumbling points, I'd say, it's probably just the batter where it's not as harmonious with the fish. The presentation, it wasn't a nice slab of fish, but maybe if I got a large- Yeah, one, it looks more it like a tender, a like slab something you can just hold with your hand. Can we get everything? And dip, so, right? Five fish and chip shops, ultra central London, reviewed. I'm thinking Fish Codec was my favorite. Waterloo Road, everything about that was just perfect. Chips, the right consistency. It gets high marks the for the fish, name. You know, the perfect mix of the sort of soft batter with the crispiness to it. Fish tastes amazing. Location was pretty good as well. And the best value out of all five that we tried today. I'd be interested to know if you have a favorite fish and chip shop in London. Maybe I should expand nice. a little bit further out than Central. I'd love to know your suggestions. And if you want to know more of good food in London, then check out my best lunches in London video. I'll leave that on screen for you now. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Go support Tom. Uh, like it's, uh, we say it, have to say it, gonna keep saying it, get over there. You know, I want our channel to support these original content creators. Uh, links below me, please. Uh, click on them. Go look. Get lost on this channel. Like, like more than one video. Do do the things that help. All those little things help him. Um, and he he's got a lot of cool uh, videos on his channel. So you you're not going to be disappointed if you don't know anything about Tom the taxi driver. It's not just going out and eating. He does all kinds of stuff. It's all over the place. It's wonderful. Um, as for what he showed us today, I'm not, like I said, um, I'm going to try my best to wait until we get there to try it. I think I want to try, even though I think a lot of you said I should eat haddock based on uh, the fact that I'm not a huge fish guy. I'm not even a little fish guy. Tuna out of a can is about the extent of fish that I'll eat. And that's only because I was raised on that as a child. So that the if I were to try tuna, I think, as an adult and had never had it before, I would hate it. 
um, out of a can, that is. Like, I can't just go to a restaurant and order tuna. No. Just, a lot of it's mental, I believe. Um, but I'll eat something that's fried, for sure. <laughs> and the chips all always look good. They all look good. Um, but uh, Dish Fish Kotek. Yeah, I love the name. And that's going to get me to go there, I think. Hopefully I'll remember that when we get there. Um, yeah, I would imagine the one, all the places near the, the huge landmarks, like the British Museum. Probably better than you would think, but not great. There's definitely other places. But, so, yeah. When we get close to going, of course, uh, or even when we're there, you all can tell me. Uh, go here, you know, let me know your uh, favorite spots in central London uh, or even just not central London, but London uh, in general, uh, where you go. Yes, I think the best place, obviously, I think, is to go to one of the seaside villages, towns, um, and, uh, you know, eat them there. That would be the ideal thing, that you could sit and watch the ocean and uh, the people, you know, maybe just in my mind walking along the boardwalk, uh, you know, right there by the water. And that's just the whole experience. But that's not going to happen this uh, first visit. So um, I'm going to have to try him. So let me know. Uh, that was fun. Uh, please go support Tom. Please go have a wonderful day. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be great. Hopefully we can get uh, something squared away where I get there. I'm getting here. I'm going. We're planning on going. And uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be this summer. Uh, the more we get involved with Cooper and his college preps and all that stuff, some things are starting to fall into place to where it may free up some time in the summer where I thought that would be taken care of. Uh you know, taking my whole summer. It's not looking like that. So who knows? Maybe sooner than later. Uh, I'm excited either way. Uh, take care, everybody. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Mark from the States. Mark from the States. It's Mark. Yeah.